This artist believes that form is the basis for artistic expression and lines convey the artist's feelings. He displays it at his solo show in Lagos. exhibition is an opportunity for an artist to display the latest body of works he's been doing. When he decides to go solo, it's a rare platform to really put his idea and style out there for the audience to understand his artistic forms. That's what contemporary artist Olushola Obanyo is doing with his lines and forms, which is depicted in his technique called Ila Ono, a Yoruba word for line designs. <music> The title of the exhibition is Lines and Form. The, when you talk about lines, you see that line is one of the basic tools in the element of art. And no matter any drawing you want to do, any design you want to do, any concept you want to do, everything started from lines. When the line is enclosed, it will give you a form. From form, you get what you want. That is a line is one of the basic things that you must work and make sure you interact with it. And because line has different ways, it diversifies to different areas in terms of uh, the movements. The movement, the lines, the way you want to show your movement of that lines. Like set example, like the spirit, we have a, something like a circle. We have zigzag. We have a lot. And all this line too, you can generate it through common objects, which you can see in the right of some of my colleagues that wrote about me. I think uh, Obayan's works are aesthetically appealing and uh, they are impressive in the form of their creativity. He's an artist that engages with a multiple set of motifs and colors and blends them into a very uniform whole that is very attractive and meaningful. In terms of the substance and content of his works, it's reflecting the socio-cultural realities of Nigeria in a very positive sense. And uh, his works are very uh, pragmatic. Uh, they are full of textures, patterns of culture, and they represent what the, is happening in the society. So the artist is talking to everybody, is talking to the society, and is trying to show us what values that we should imbibe. He's inspired by two art movements popular in the western and eastern parts of Nigeria, the Onno, which began from a group of artists in the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, to the Uli, made popular by the University of Nigeria, Unsuka. A combination of patterned and textural lines from these two cultures gives birth to his art. <music> discovered that Obaya is, is being described as a crossbreed artist, someone who moves from the Yamadu Bello University setting to OAU or University of Ife setting because of his adoption of the style that is known as Onaizen. So it's called a new honor artist. That is 
uh, the kind of uh, art that emphasizes colors, patterns, motifs, and that is reflective, is reflected in many of the work that we see here. On the whole, it's an impressive assemblage of works that will uh, make you, leave you awestruck as uh, either an art connoisseur or as a scholar and as an individual. I must commend him for the excellence of the presentation. Quite some years back, I started this work from gouache colors, where we have a lot of assorted colors of gouache. And this color you are talking about, when you mix it, I mean self-mix, you will get a lot of vibrant colors. I love playing with colors, but later I discovered that uh, the gouache itself has similar to what we call acrylic now. And acrylic colors has a kind of uh, very powerful in terms of brightness and very sharp. Later I discovered that let me go for acrylic. And all this work you have seen, I use acrylic color for it. When I saw the, the poster, I knew there was going to be something dramatic about his art. I go here and I discover that he has been able to play to the theme of the show, which is about lines and forms. Uh, a lot of line interplay in all the works without exception. And um, that's fantastic for an artist who has been very consistent with what he's been doing over the years. Patterns, lines, forms and texture, that's what he brings in over 20 pieces with titles such as Patterns of Life, Celebration, We Live the Way We Are, all done on acrylic on canvas. Of, uh, of the of of the artist is very interesting. It's full of patterns, it's full of textures, it's full of uh, lines, and they are all very enchanting. So the artist is uh, has come up with a style that is very unique. And the colors of the artist are very bright, and the walls here illuminate the hall. And what that means is that the artist makes use of vibrant colors, colors that help the audience to appreciate uh, his sense of choice of color, his sense of judgment, his creativity, and his dexterity. I personally, I learned a lot from Mr. Olushola Obayon, and I'm so happy that uh, he's coming out now, and this, this exhibition is a testimony to what uh, the skill that he has. Um, I personally am so happy to see this exhibition to stage because it's been a long while that we, all of us, even the students, the colleagues in the school, we are waiting to see him exhibiting. And I hope that from here, he will be able to take it out and a lot of people will be able to see this. So this exhibition, as he tagged it, uh, Ilaono, you know, honor from the, uh, the, the expression of patterns. So the lines of expression, which has already shown in quite a number of the old works, you can see lines everywhere. So I'm so happy to see Mr. Obanyo coming out. I, I, I can, I can, I'm proud to say I'm a student because he actually imbibed a lot of knowledge into me. He's an artist who is uh, maturing in his work. He's an artist who has been able to reflect you know, many years of experience in his work. So I must say that I'm delighted at uh, the aesthetics that's embedded in all the works. The sweet use of color, the powerful use of lines, the unblemished uh, interplay of forms. I mean, the fact that most of the forms are actually lost in the lines which of us, you know, which suggests the title of the show. 
is very ex exemplary. Shola Obayo is a graduate of the prestigious Amajibelo University in Zaria, Kaduna State. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. And that's how we wrap up this week's edition of Art House. Thank you so much for being a part of it. And always remember, you can see this or any other episode of Art House on our YouTube page. I'm Melinda Akimami. Have a lovely day.